Lesson 3.4, add three add-ins. We can add three add-ins by adding two add-ins first, then adding the third add-in to that sum. It's helpful if two add-ins will make a 10 first. Addition problems can be written as a number sentence, that's also called an equation. 3 plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 6. It's written horizontally. It's going from side to side. We can also write it in vertical form. That means it's going up and down. And the sum is the same, whether we add it as a number sentence or vertically. We can add in any order to get the same sum. We have 8 plus 4 plus 2. It's the same for all of these. We can add the 8 plus 4 first to equal 12. Then we can add the 2 to equal 14. We could also add the 4 and the 2 first to equal 6. Then add the 8. That's equal to 14. We can also group the 8 and the 2 together to make a 10. Then add the 4. That equals 14. Which one of these do you think is the easiest way to do it? I like the make a 10. I think that's easiest for me. We can solve these in different ways by adding in different orders. We have 9 plus 2 plus 1. We can add the 9 plus 2, which equals 11, and then add the 1 more to get 12. We could also add the 9 plus the 1 to make a 10, then add the 2. That equals 12. For this one, we can add the 5 plus the 4, sorry about the focus, to equal 9, then we could add the 6 to equal 15. We could also add the 4 and the 6 together first to make a 10, then add the 5 to equal 15. If we get the same sum by adding different ways, our sum is probably correct. Remember to add all of the add-ins. We can make a 10 with the 7 and the 3, but don't forget that little one there. We may add two add-ins and forget the last one. So don't forget anyone. Don't forget any numbers. Remember to add all of the add-ins to get the correct sum. An unknown add-end is a missing add-end, and we can find an unknown add-end. We have 6 plus 4 plus some unknown add-in that is equal to 13. And we think 6 plus 4 is equal to 10, and 10 plus what number is equal to 13? 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. The missing add-in must be 3. We add the add-ins that we have, and we find out what we need to make that sum. We can count on from 10, 11, 12, 13. We counted on 3 to get 13. Here we have 2 plus an unknown add-in plus 8 is equal to 14. And we think 2 plus 8 is equal to 10, and 10 plus what number is equal to 14? We can count on from 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That was 4. 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. We could also count on with little dots as counters. We can say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We needed four little dots to count them to make 14. We must put a 4 there. Here we have an unknown add-in plus 3 plus 9 is equal to 15. And we think 9 plus 3 is equal to 12, so 12 plus some number is equal to 15. We can start at 12 and count on 13, 14, 15. That's 3. The missing add-in, the unknown add-in, is 3. 3 plus 3 plus 9 is equal to 15. Emma Tala and Bob ate 16 cookies in all. Emma and Tala each ate five cookies. How many cookies did Bob eat? 
And we think three people ate cookies. Emma and Tala each ate five is a doubles fact. Emma ate five and Tala ate five. That's five plus five. That's ten. We need to find how many Bob ate. Together, they ate 16. 10 plus whatever amount Bob ate is equal to 16. Do you know how many Bob ate? If you said 6, you're right. 5 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 16. So Bob ate 6 cookies. Mr. Kim planted six apple trees, three pear trees, and four cherry trees. How many trees did he plant? We think we need to find how many trees he planted in all. And we can circle the important information. The number of trees he planted were six, three, and four. We can write a number sentence to find the answer. Six apple trees, three pear trees, and four cherry trees. Do you see two add-ins that we can add together? I see a six and a four. That makes a ten. Then we have a three. We have ten plus three. Do you know how many we have in all? If you said thirteen, you're right. Mr. Kim planted thirteen trees in all. If we make a doubles fact or make a 10 first, the third add-in may be easier to add. Here we have 5 plus 2 plus 3. If we add the 2 plus 3 first, it's going to make a 5. Now we have a doubles fact. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Here we have 2 plus 5 plus 8. Do you see two add-ins that we can add together to make a 10? I do. I see the 2 and the 8 makes a 10. Then we can add the 5. That would be 15. What about 1 plus 9 plus 3? I see a 1 and a 9 that can make a 10. Then we can add the 3. That's equal to 13. What about 8 plus 5 plus 3? Well, if we add the 5 and the 3 together, that's going to make an 8. Then we'll have a doubles fact, 8 plus 8. That's equal to 16. So if we make a doubles fact or make a 10 first, the third add-in may be easier to add. Using the strategy make a 10 will help us add many add-ins. Here we've got 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, and that looks like it would take a long time to add, but if we make a 10 with this 5 plus 5, this doubles, and we can see the 4 and the 6 could make a 10, we just have 10 plus 10. That's easy. That's 20. Look at all these numbers that need to be added together. We could first group them to make tens. I see an eight and a two. That makes 10. I see a nine and a one. That makes another 10. I see a seven and a three. That makes another 10. Another 10 here, and then I see a 5. Now that's easy to add. We've got 10, 20, 30, and 5 more. That's 35. By looking for add-ins that will make a 10, we can add many add-ins together very easily. So just remember, when you're adding three add-ins, group them together to make doubles or to make tens so that you can add them quicker. 
Just don't forget to add the last add-in. Our next lesson, 3.5, is going to be Relate Addition and Subtraction. We're going to talk about fact families, and I hope I'll see you there. And I hope you're doing well. Have a wonderful day. Bye.